Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Cafe Remix. So, let's get this started. So, today we are getting 1,200 golden acorns from Squirtle. Plus, we are getting a skill plus from Corsola. We're automatically getting 30 minutes of, um, of, uh, infinite stamina, and Corsola is the new, uh, goal Pokemon, I guess. Alright. With the new pass. So, cooking with Palkia. Hey, Eric, what are you making? Wow, those are rice flour dumplings. They look so chewy and delicious. Oh, welcome, Palkia. Hmm, seems like it's really curious about the nice flour dumplings. Do you want to try and making some dumplings too, Palkia? Heh, <laughs> sounds like it does. Having Palkia help us is reassuring. Once we're done making a lot of dumplings, we should ask Felber to deliver them to everyone. Eric, let's have, uh, have it help us make some dumplings right away. Alright, Palkia, come this way. Oh, hello there, shiny Charizard. Alright, so this is another event like the last one with the Lucky Wheel. Which, um, I, I think I made kind of clear that I'm not really into that kind of event. But, you know, it is what it is. So, let's get started. So, I guess we're going to start with the Ravenous and work our way back. Um, okay, we got... Um, we don't have Salt Shakers handled, so I think I need to drop Alchemy right here. Where do I drop Stout one? I'm going to drop Alchemy. And we can handle Salt Shakers. Um, oh my goodness, I feel like we're wasting our time right now just trying to figure out what team to use. Uh, we don't have too many options, do we? We really don't. Okay, so... Um... We don't really have any great options. I guess I'll go with Shaman, because it'll get us the highest score. With still hand handling Salt. And we'll do this. This can't possibly end well. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got a minute to do this. Oh, wait a minute, I just realized we don't have anything for with cream. Okay, we got cycle one done, but at what cost? Oh my goodness. Alright, cycle two is done. Oh my goodness. On game. Alright, we got cycle three is done. Let's do this right now. We need Statlin to handle the that stuff, Shaman to handle the salt. There we go. Deep cans are gone. Salt shaker's gone. Alright. I mean, of course it would be all stuff that we can't handle here. That makes too much sense. Alright, cycle 5 is complete. Cycle 6. I didn't mean to use a skill right there. And now I actually just can use two skills. Because of course I did. Alright, cycle six is done. There is literally no way we do well with this. Not being able to handle the uh, sugar, or the uh, whipped cream is way too big of a deficit here, I think. Plus, I think we have the wrong uh, leader Pokemon. Of 
Okay, cycle eight is done. Oh my goodness, I want to use a skill right now. Efficiency. We're gonna have to do a lot better. Okay. There's... Yeah, we're not. And we're out of time. Okay, considering how this started, 8 million is not awful, but we're still not hitting the 10 million here. I think we need to restructure what we're doing here. One big problem is that there is no Pokemon that can efficiently take care of the salt that can take care of any other gimmicks that we have here. And that's going to make this more of a challenge for us. So we are going to make some dumplings here. Five dumplings, not even enough for a spin. Okay, great. Um, I mean, is there anything that can handle tea cans? And also... No, I want to... I don't want you bringing me here. Okay. So... Okay, anything that can also handle tea here. I don't think there's too many options at all, honestly, for this. We literally have no options. I could just throw an Eevee, I guess, but now... We're really limiting ourselves here. Alright, um... Now we need turnips. Okay. Uh, go hand sham for this, and now let's just hope for the best, see if we can handle it this time. Let's see how this goes. Because now we have Eevee, so that should at least help us with the, the cream. Overall, I'm pretty sure that our total score has gone down, but being able to handle the gimmicks should help us out as well. So... Robin Go-Goat might actually make a difference here. Okay. So cycle 3 is done. Here we go, I'm gonna double skill this to get rid of all that junk. There we go. Do this. All right, cycle five is done. Cycle six. This should at least get us the uh, get us into fever mode. Um. There we go. Cycle six is done. Cycle seven. Done. Cycle eight. Uh. Oh my goodness, me. Oh my god. I feel like I'm just having trouble remembering which Pokemon deals with which gimmick. And that wastes so much time. Alright. I think we'll look to the right side. Okay. Let's do this. Jamie can handle that. Eevee can handle this. And Sham's gotta handle most of the stuff here. Eevee handles that. Jamie handles that. We're good. Okay. 
Uh, we only have 20 seconds left. We're running out of time. I want to use the skill right here. That'll get us into frenzy mode. Um. Okay, so cycle 10 is done. For cycle 11. There's like never what you need when you need it. We needed alchemy. There were no alchemy to be seen. Okay. No, I wanted to lift this a bit high. Oh, because of the key cam is there. Oops. Okay. Wow. Talk about a fail. Alright, we're gonna do this. It's not gonna help us especially, but... Cycle 11 is completed. I don't know why I keep thinking that Hancham can handle the, uh, the turnips when it can oh, Actually, no, I keep thinking Alchemy can handle the turnips. I keep thinking Hancham can handle the cans. I don't know why I'm mixing up can um, tea cans with turnips. But that is going to cost us severely. We are doing better than last time, though, so I mean, you know, it's showing improvement. But we're not quite at the point where we can consistently get 10k. Uh, we are getting some more rice flour dumplings, though, so there's that. Alright, let's get started. Let's do this again. I still think we're better off with two stars from Ravenous than three stars from Hungry, so there's that. Alright, here we go. Okay, so we need Can Cham to do this. Okay. There's a skill right here, hopefully it reaches that. It does. Cool, okay. Cycle 5 is done. That's for cycle 6. So at least we need to, be able to hit those cans right there. There we go. I'll at least hit this stuff because that's going to make my life more difficult if we don't. Now we do a frenzy mode now. There we go. Cycle 7 is done. Cycle 8. Um. First of all, we need to hit the salt shakers with hand sham. Alright, perfect. Cycle 8 is done. Cycle 9. Okay, I didn't mean to use the skill right there. I meant to go for alchemy, but I find I accidentally pick up the wrong Pokemon a lot. You see, I meant to go for alchemy right there, but once again, Okay, I give up. We're gonna just use a double skill right here because I'm wasting too many turns clicking the wrong thing. There we go, cycle 9 is completed. Cycle 10. I'm just gonna use a skill here. I wanna get to frenzy mode because uh, we're wasting too much time now. There. Like a pen done. I'm just gonna skill it because we're not gonna end up we're not getting friendly mode again, let's be honest. And it's already over. Wow. Okay, I think mistakes are made, honestly. So we're not going to do well here, and I'm not going to deserve it anyway. So it works out. Alright. Here we go. We do 
a skill right there. And we are done. So that was definitely the worst run yet as a result of just pure negligence that I was at the end of the frenzy mode time limit. We definitely could have done a lot better and I not use the double skill right there. I thought we were halfway through, not at the tail end of it. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this has actually given me more grief than the Diago one was. Like, legit. Okay, here we go. I mean, at least we can handle each gimmick this time, which is something. There is something to be said for that. that salt shaker, so that's something. Okay, cycle 5 is complete. Still that salt shaker on the left we gotta hit. Right, there we go. Double skill in this just to make sure we get into the frenzy mode. There. Need to finish that. Cycle seven is done. Cycle eight. I need a skill right here because I do not have the time to waste to go for Pan Sham there. Shaman bottom. Cycle eight is done. Cycle nine. Let's do this. He's got to do its thing. Pan Sham's got to do its thing. Shaman's got to do its thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. Cycle 9 is done. We're doing this right now. It's a triple skill in it. Go. Ten is done right there. Oh my god. There we go. The cycle eleven is done. This is our this is the closest we've come yet, honestly. Uh, it's not over yet, though. Here we go. There's another skill right there. We just need to get in the friend emo here, and I think we'll be good. There we go. Perfect. So now we should be able to actually do this. Alright. Cycle 13. We are good. All right, we are finally breaking 10 million. That took way too long. I think it took four attempts, which um, is honestly quite bad for me. But, you know, I'm not going to be especially good at this game. All right, but we are breaking 10 million finally, so that's going to get us our bonus 10. All that for 10 uh, rice dumplings. That is, that is not good. <laughs> All right. So with that, we are uh, receiving 5 plus, uh, plus those 10. All right, next up we get 30. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go for, we already got our ravenous prize. I'm going to go for hungry this time. Let's do it. Okay, this time it leads with 
the salt shaker, so we're gonna go for shaman right away. There we go. Okay, simple enough. Now the question is, can I just get more consistent results with Hungry than with Ravenous in this case? Because I am not doing especially well with this one minute cooking. At all. Okay, there we go. Cycle seven, this will give us some in the frenzy mode. Oh my god, I want Al for me. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I think we we're good at this point. Just gonna wait for frenzy mode to end, and we are good. Alright, perfect. we are achieving the target score which you know makes sense considering this is the easier one so we're getting those five dumplings uh and we're not getting as many points instead of 90 we're only getting 40 so yeah we're better off you're much better off with two stars from uh ravenous than three stars with hungry um just as in general uh, i'm doing this just to get the bonus ones but you know, I, I recommend do what is in your own best interest at the time. So this we're going to finish before we do it, my friends, you know, it's, it's already over. Okay. Package is just easy. It, I mean, I guess if you have, if you're really struggling and you just want to win, th this is a way to do it. Uh, it's, it's not... It's not nothing, but you're not getting a whole lot of points. You're only getting 25 there. It is going to get us those 30 rice dumplings, so there's something. But it's not going to be enough to get us more in the big picture. So, um, also, is there a challenge card? There's got to be a challenge card. There is a challenge card. Use 10 during the period. All right, well, in that case, uh, we're going to do a lucky spin right now. Okay, there's no way we're getting a good prize right now on the first spin, but there we go. We're getting 50 golden acorns. Fair enough. Okay, so with that, let's uh, go get our prizes here and receive all. So we're getting more dumplings. Okay. I'll take these. Why not? Alright. I'm just going to use a hundred of them. And we got nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get started. Alright, we got to keep on going here. So the main idea is finish it as quickly as possible. I know. High level skill, right? Okay. So precise. Okay, get rid of that. Good cream. Let's do this. We're gonna need Anjam to do some work here. I said some work, not no work. There we go. Go. I'm just going to need the skill because I have had it with missing the uh, gummy. Alright. Turnips are so much easier to work with than the gummy because the gummy moves around. The turnips are just there. Okay. Alright. Let's get this stuff. I'm going to use a skill right now, just because I want to get in the frenzy mode, I'll let Shaman handle this, Alchemy handle that, Hanshim handle this. 
much better to work with smaller links than bigger ones, though. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, well, okay. Could have been worse, but not great. We did waste our skills right there. And that's, you know, pretty bad, not gonna lie. Okay. I don't like how relatively unforgiving it is when you use, like, there's no benefit to using a skill. Um, or at least no innate benefit of using a skill while you have Frenzy Mode up because you're not gaining from the gauge on it. It'd be nice if there was some reason to, like, use it during that time, so this way it's... You, you, you don't get punished for using it at the wrong time. Oh my god. Alright. Let's do this. Shame in here. And we are out of time. We are going to break two stars, though. So, I mean, considering the fact that we had that one, that one point where we just weren't hitting anything, um, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's try to do better again. Okay, here we go. Why did we do this? Okay. Maybe our luck with the wheel will be better than my luck with um the, the, the order itself. I feel like it's unlucky, but it's unlikely, but you know, you never know. Okay, here we go. Let's deal with this, and then Shane can handle the salt, and Shane can handle the gummy. There we go. Alright. Do this. And Shane, it's all you. We'll at least hit both key cans. Come on, dummy, stop moving. There we go. how anyone's supposed to do this if they don't have every single gimmick available. Because, well, if you can't handle a certain gimmick, good luck. Alright. Do this. Salt right now. Okay, we still have some time. So this is actually quite the opportunity because we have a bunch of skills up. So this can work in our advantage to our advantage. Cycle 11 is complete. Cycle 12. But the other thing we're, we have going for is I'm pretty sure we have a pretty low overall score. Okay, I think we actually got this now. We have this all but one. 
All right, there we go. Okay. I think we pretty consistently had it that time anyway. Um, if we were going to succeed at all, it was going to be a bad time. And there we go. So target score is achieved. And we are going to get some more dumplings. Okay. So I feel like we're starting to actually be successful with a little bit of consistency. So that's certainly, there's certainly something to be said for that. Okay. So we're going to keep on going as we get more and more of these served up. You know what? Let's do one more. Then. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We want to utilize the specialty gimmicks as the game does suggest. All right. Until we can build a little bit of confidence in what we're doing. We're gonna have some trouble, aren't we? All right, here we go. I mean, at least that's sort of, I, I feel like, what we've been doing over the last half an hour of failing. Building confidence. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna do this. We still have to go for uh, hand cham a little bit, but nothing too crazy. I'd rather get rid of the salt shakers than the uh, turnips with the, with the skill, mostly because they're a pain in the butt to hit. Just need the skill, there's no morale for me, I don't feel like wasting all my time. We're in frenzy mode now. I must say that for this specialty, like refreshments, they certainly picked an annoying group of gimmicks to include. I feel like they intentionally picked like groups of gimmicks that don't pair well together, given the Pokemon that are currently available. Or that you're punished for not having the ones from the current deliveries. Especially because you also get the extra bonus um, dumplings when you have the Pokemon from deliveries in your team. Which, you know, require luck from deliveries. <laughs> no. This game is very good at punishing players for not having stuff from the liberties, I will say that. Okay. I'm gonna skill right here just because hey, it buys us a little extra time while I strategize. Okay, here we go. Okay, we gotta use all of the skills right now. We are running out of time and fast. Come on, is this enough? It is not enough! Well, I actually thought that was gonna be enough to get us into frenzy mode. And then we might have had just enough time to actually pull out. But that did not work. That is, that is very disappoint. <laughs> okay, so I am clearly not at the point where I'm actually being successful with any level of, um, with any level of consistency. Like, just straight up. Alright, you know what? Might as well spin the wheel. We're not getting anything, but... Okay, here we go. Spin in the wheel again. Oh! Okay. Bit energized, but... Nah, it's just gonna be all the three. Okay, all we're getting... Uh, 
Yeah, all we're getting is 500 golden acorns. That is not great. <laughs> not great at all. Um, definitely not Charizard. Definitely not Palkia. So, there's that. You know what, I'm going to try this again. We're doing this. Here we go. Of course there's like no Eevee to go for. Alright, we are pulling out of that one. There we go. Okay, Cycle 3 is done. There's Cycle 4. I'm just going to do this right here. Oh my goodness, can we like get that? There we go. Let's double skill this, get rid of all the gummy. Let's do this, that'll get us into frenzy mode. This. Here we go. I don't. I probably shouldn't be using a skill right here, but you know, whatever. Sue me. Okay. But we're definitely making progress during that frenzy mode. So I mean, I'll take what I can get, I suppose. Basically, it's another skill, get rid of the gummy. The one gimmick you don't want to rely on with a skill is salt shakers because half the time they can't even be dealt with. There's like no shaman. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's like a cell for cycle 12. Let's deal with all of this stuff first. If we can get into frenzy mode one more time, we win this easily. But we have to be able to get in the frenzy mode first. Oh my god. Okay. We wasted way too much time running out of alchemy there. There we go. That'll get us in the frenzy mode and then we can win this. There we go. We got it. We're out of time, but we got it. Okay. There we go. It's... <laughs> I mean, it's not that there's no skill at all, it's that there is a level of luck about what's on the board. Um, once again, I'm not going to pretend to be especially good at this, but, you know, there, there is, uh, there is some level of of luck that is remotely involved. Uh, that being said, do we have any? Oh, okay, we can we can get a few more spins here. So that's something. All right. Oh, okay. Um, that's not nothing. There's still a few more cards as well to go through. Alright, you know what? Let's use all 100. 
Okay, so it looks like we're getting something in the top three here. Probably just 500 more golden acorns, but hey. And it is. Okay. Sadness. Okay. Yeah. Because if you get in, if you get one of the top three prizes, you have to spin the wheel. It doesn't automatically do it for you. But yeah. <laughs> Um, it's predetermined, so it doesn't really matter when you click on the wheel. If that makes you feel better about your, in terms of skill of the lucky wheel itself. Uh, as for continuing with, uh, serving up orders, yeah, we don't have really much of a choice here. Uh, it does take you a while just to get a few of the dumplings. You have to, like, get ten each time in order to spin the wheel. So it sort of does punish you for not having the costumes or, uh, or, Dian uh, or uh, having Diancy. So, um, I mean, there's really not a whole lot you can do about that other than either spend massive amounts of uh, golden acorns or just get really, really lucky. Um, but hey, if you're looking for a shiny Charizard, this is the opportunity to get it, I suppose. And if you don't have Palkia, same deal. That being said, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Cafe Remix. Goodbye.